Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, boys and girls, and welcome to the fifth ever video at Beat the Clock. Today we're trying to understand another important part of skiing, and those of you who can read will know it is brushing, aka sliding, skidding, or whatever you want to call it. Of course, it wouldn't make any sense to just talk about it, so we'll look at the incredible Victoria Rebensburg. Um, to those of you who don't watch the World Cup or have Alzheimer, she has won the World Cup 19 times and also won a gold medal at the Olympics. Um, so what's today's video about? We'll have a look at how to slide correctly at the entrance of the turn, where we can use it, and we'll walk through some of the most common mistakes folks make when brushing. Uh, thanks to Ski Zanit for letting me use the video once again, and don't forget to like so we can start the video. Yeah, I'm waiting. You done? Okay, let's go. Sauce Fay is where the magic happens, and as you can probably see, the course Victoria skis on is terribly tight like 23 meters or something like that. And it's really turny, so not even she can manage to carve all the way. What do we do if it's too turny? That's right, we're sliding the beginning to shorten the turns enough so we can stay on the ideal line. The question of how to brush correctly really comes down to two things, balance and timing. Balance, because you want to have almost no pressure on the skis while you're sliding, and that means that there's not much room for not being well balanced. Once you've reached the point on top of the gate, you'll need to apply all your force to get the skis carving. If you're waiting a tenth of a second too long, you might be way off the ideal line. And if you're a tenth too early, you're probably gonna hurt your ear. Why? Because your body will land on it and because you're straddling GS, that's why. Um, so. Yeah, with those things in mind, balance and timing, uh, let's have a closer look at Victoria. She starts sliding and boom, she goes on the edges and finishes the turn. Obvious, but how? Let's go one step at a time. The first few meters you can see there is almost no snow spraying away from the skis because there's basically no pressure on the skis. So that means less friction, hence no spraying. Then the second part, probably the most difficult. She's well balanced, meaning her center of gravity is mostly on the front part of the outside ski. In this part, she's trying to get enough pressure on the skis so they stop sliding and start carving. Lots of snow is sprayed away because now the skis have a lot of pressure on, but they're not quite carving yet. Third part of the turn, her skis are carving and the transition from brushing to carving was done. Note that she is right where she wants to be, touching the gate a little bit. That's the timing bit I was mentioning earlier. Wicked. Now that we've got an idea on how to slide the entrance, when should we do it? Uh, well, sliding is a technique, a tool to be used. That's important to understand. So make sure you can start the turn without brushing also. Usually top athletes only use it when they're otherwise not able to stay in the ideal line, i.e. when it's turny as hell. They also use it when they've made a mistake and are already late. Then it's more of a correction they apply. And the third common situation is when entering a steeper pitch. In the latter case, sliding is used as a safety measure to have an even higher line. And as you all surely know, in the beginning of the steep pitch, a high line is key. Victoria is doing a really good job at not sliding the flat part. And as she enters the steep part, as you can see in a second, she slides a lot to get a higher line. Now let's talk about why most people don't manage to slide the entrance properly. Number one, the back seat. It's not easy to stay balanced when brushing, really. <laughs> it's hard, so stay on top of your skis. Number two, inside ski. Once again, balance is really hard to keep so push with your outside ski number three not starting to carve quickly if you're brushing you'll only want to do that during the first part of the turn if your skis are not well placed and maybe you're it's a little icy people sometimes just slide the whole turn through which is not cool and number four and my personal favorite the straddle 
If your technique isn't the finest and you're trying to make up for it with a lack of risk aversion, you might find yourself straddling in GS and while you're flying through the air, skis overhead, you might regret all life's decisions that got you there. While remembering your coach was going to film this run so you know you've got at least a good chance to impress your crush on Instagram because Slalom Tokyo Drift might post you. Awesome, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Check out Skis In It and I wish you all a great time. Bye!